Mississippi Supreme Court districts are being challenged in court. Advocates say the way the lines are drawn now are a violation of voters' rights. Governor News Tao Ta has more on the challenge of the Mississippi Supreme Court districts. Tao? Well, while the lawsuit filed this morning says the Mississippi High Court violates the Voting Rights Act and the U.S. Constitution by diluting the voting strength of black Mississippians, now a lawsuit initiated by the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU of Mississippi, Southern Poverty Law Center, and Simpson, Thatcher, and Bartlett, which is headquartered in New York, is filed on behalf of several plaintiffs urging that the state Supreme Court districts be redrawn so that black voters have a fair opportunity to elect candidates of their choice. Now, Mississippi's population is is almost 40 percent black and since 1987 there has been no change in the Supreme Court voting maps. When black Mississippians see themselves pictured in every element of life but missing in almost every photo of state leadership you cannot be surprised that we lack confidence in our state government. Of course like my friends they move immediately like oh my god I need I'm suffocated I need to move of course with the brain drain but um, I love it here. I love Mississippi. My family's here. I'm a country girl at heart. I do not want to move. And so it's like I just have to be a part of the change. Now, the group says only four African Americans have ever sat on the state Supreme Court and never more than one at a time. And why is the complaint filed now? Well, civic leaders say a case has been filed before, sometime in the late 80s, adding that this time around they're quite confident that this case will be successful. Walt, back to you.